So let's suppose you are trying to make a house. If you want to make a house, you cannot just start by building some walls and painting them very gloriously and making a roof on top of it and your house is done. No, that's not the way to do it. You need to start with the proper planning, like you need a proper land, which, which has all the utilities. You need to have a plan, which will be done by engineers. And then you do the proper foundation. You need good workers, which will build the house properly strong foundations and pillars and then after a lot of work and a lot of materials like wood and concrete you achieve somewhere near to your house and then you can you know live in it basically why are we talking about a house this is a channel about food safety and food quality think of the HACCP as your final beautiful house which you want to build for your organization the prerequisites to HACCP are the steps or the policies or procedures you need before even thinking about HACCP. These are the good manufacturing practices or GMPs or you can call them as good hygiene practices or GHPs which an organization needs before going for HACCP. These are the basic techniques which each and every organization in the world who is manufacturing food or similar products need to have to achieve food safety and then HACCP is coming on top of it to make the system proper and to eliminate the hazards. But without the prerequisites, the house which you are building or the HACCP system which you are building will fall down because there will be no foundation. There will be no layout, there will be no plan. I have seen a lot of businesses struggle with HACCP in my 14 years of experience. I personally have implemented HACCP in more than 30 companies. And I have seen numerous companies struggle with HACCP also. And the reason is not that the HACCP system is not there, but the reason is that the PRPs or the prerequisite program is weak. And as a result, the hazards are not eliminated and HACCP cannot function properly. So let's talk about the prerequisites today and try to understand what are those and why they are important to HACCP. So as I mentioned, HACCP prerequisites are the good manufacturing practices or good hygiene practices which should be implemented in a business anyways, even if they want to do HACCP or no HACCP. These are general practices which should be part of any business to produce safe food. And once these prerequisites are implemented, any business can go and go forward to make some HACCP achievements as well. So basically, let me give you an example. Let's suppose a business wants to operate in food uh, area and if they don't have proper personal hygiene, how will they make food without contamination? So forget HACCP, forget any food safety management system. Their personal hygiene is so compromised that they cannot make safe food. So they cannot even think about HACCP. Similarly, cleaning and sanitation. If cleaning and sanitation is not done properly, then again, food safety is compromised through lack, uh, lack of cleaning and sanitation and contamination increases. If a, if a company doesn't have proper temperature control, like calibrated chillers and freezers, then the food will allow multiplication to happen. And again, it will be not safe. So these are basic tools and techniques and systems which should be in place even before a business thinks about HACCP because they are the general food safety practices. So these are the prerequisites to HACCP. For example, management commitment. So if the management is not committed, then uh, the resources which will be not provided to the team to work on HACCP. What are the resources? This is a second prerequisite that adequate resources should be there. So there are five resources which we uh, count in the business. Uh, they are the five M's. Men, machine, material, money and method. So it's the job of the management that they show commitment and they provide adequate resources to achieve the project of HACCP. Then we need approved suppliers. Supplier assurance program is required. If the suppliers are not good and the food or the raw material which is coming in is, is uh, out of standard, then, then the finished product will never be uh, safe. Uh, we have a saying in uh, businesses, uh, 
what you bring in as raw material that is what you give out as finished product if the raw material is not safe then the finished product will not be safe also then we need to have proper premises and equipments the design of the premises the layout uh, utilities all these things matter to food safety same with the equipment if the equipments are not well designed and they don't uh, provide proper functionality it will be a problem uh, and and this problem will be costly as well then portable water and uh, and uh, you can say safe water because water is a huge part of food business a lot of foods uh, have water in them and then the water is also used for cleaning and sanitation as well then higher standard of personal hygiene for people uh, it's a whole big big thing uh, you know in the food business uh, to have proper personal hygiene even in pharma and other businesses as well fmcg as well and then we need properly trained staff effective cleaning and sanitation huge huge system as well proper equipment calibration which means that uh, that the equipment should be working properly and and the measurements which are being taken through this equipment should be done properly as well they, the, the reading should not be faulty then preventive maintenance i always say this that maintenance is always preventive there is nothing like reactive maintenance if something is broken and after that we do maintenance that is not maintenance that is called as repair so always preventive maintenance is required then we need stock rotation first in first out proper management of inventory all these things integrated pest management system where the pest uh, is not allowed to enter the food area or if they enter they should be uh, eradicated quickly effective waste management then proper labeling and traceability of the food as well these are some of the examples of prerequisite program so these are the prerequisites to hasab as i have mentioned before also and i mean i will mention it again these are the systems which should be present in a food organization even before thinking of any food safety management system like hasab all these prerequisites are very important they are part of good manufacturing and good hygiene practices after finishing this hasab series i will make a full series about good manufacturing practices because systems like personal hygiene and cleaning and stock rotation and waste management and pest control each of them are so important and they have so many integrated details within them that they each deserve a separate video for them so in one video of prerequisites i cannot cover all of these systems because they all have their own unique set of uh, you know unique set of details with them so i want to give full justice to each of them and as i said after finishing this hasab series i will be making a separate series for them as well so these are the set of prerequisites after we implement the prerequisites we do a gap analysis audit to understand that what are the gaps uh, in our prerequisite standards and uh, do we have compliance or not and if we achieve compliance then we can go ahead and do hasab basically hasab has 12 steps uh, the, this is called as codex logic sequence of hasab and in our next video we will talk about the same codex logic sequence what is that what is the meaning of codex logic sequence and what are those 12 steps that's our next video so that's it for the prerequisite video it's a short video but very very important to understand what is the role of prerequisites again i will rephrase what i said before a lot of companies struggle with hasab and that's not because of hasab it's basically poor prerequisites so if you have a problem within your system that your hasab audits are failing or your rating in the hasab is not coming very well or you have uh, you know poor findings in uh, in hasab audits please check your prerequisites that's your key see you in the next one guys please like and share the video spread the knowledge uh, we need your support as subscribers and uh, do comment on the video if you have any questions Thank you see you in the next one